As most of you guys know, I've been running the iTech World 120X lithium battery in my setup for close to a year now. Actually, it started its life in my previous canopy setup, and in that time, it's been doing a great job of keeping my lights running, my devices charged, and my fridge cold. However, there is one downside to the 120X, and I see this mentioned online quite often, and that's the usable capacity. Essentially, I can only drain about 105 amp hours from this battery. Now, when I was upgrading from AGM, that was a massive step up, because obviously with AGM, you can only drain about 50% of that capacity. However, the expectation nowadays with lithium is that you should be able to use 100% of the advertised capacity. Safe to say that iTech World definitely heard that feedback and they actually got in touch with me a couple of weeks ago and said that I had to check out their newest lithium battery which finally has that 100% usable capacity. Introducing the brand new 120 amp hour iTech 120X Pro. Straight up, iTech World did provide the 120X Pro for me to review, but they've had absolutely no input whatsoever on this video. Everything we cover is my own thoughts and honest opinions, just like every other review video on this channel. So looking at these batteries side by side, they look really, really similar. And I guess they should, because their dimensions are exactly the same, which is 330 millimeters long, 173 millimeters deep, and 215 millimeters tall. The only physical difference between these two batteries is that the new 120X Pro weighs in at 12.5 kilos, which is actually two and a half kilos heavier than the original 120X. The similarities continue with a lot of the specs too. The 120X Pro has the same IP67 weatherproof rating, and that means I could theoretically submerge this battery in water up to one meter, which just blows my mind. We get the same 150 amp continuous discharge rating or 175 amps for up to five minutes. And that's pretty much on par with what you'd expect from most premium lithium batteries. And it's also plenty for most camping setups. Where we start to see some differences is with the warranty period. So they've actually bumped up the warranty on the 120X Pro to five years compared to the three years we got with the old 120X. And that also includes underbonnet mounting if that's what you're planning on storing yours. As for how long it's gonna last you, the 120X Pro has a rating of 4,000 life cycles to 100%, which is pretty insane. If you're not sure what that means, essentially you can fully use this battery and recharge it 4,000 times, and it'll still have 100% of its original capacity. Now to put that in perspective a little bit, and I think I might have used a similar analogy for the 120X, if you were to fully use this battery and recharge it every single day, you'd still have 100% of the original capacity after 11 years. So with my usage, this thing should still have 100% of its capacity after 20 or 30 years, give or take. So make sure you stay tuned for that long-term review. Now I could talk numbers all day long, but what I really wanna do is test this 120X Pro and make sure we can actually use 100% of its capacity. To do this, I've rigged together a bit of a gadget. I've got my battery monitor shunt here, connected to some battery cables on one end, and on the other end is a Anderson connection. So I'm gonna connect this to the top of the fully charged 120X Pro, grab my trusty old Waco, now, before I plug it in, I'm just gonna quickly reset my battery monitor app, so everything's starting from zero. There we go. Alrighty, now I'll plug the Waco into the battery, running through that shunt to measure every amp that leaves that battery. Leave it for a couple of days and see how much power we use. I figured this is probably a pretty fair test because the chances are if you buy a battery like this, you're gonna be running camping accessories like a fridge. So you can see there, everything's all fired up. We're now drawing power, 3.8 amps worth of power. Let's see how long it runs for. So it turns out my Waco is very uh, efficient on power. So I think I'm gonna turn it to freezer mode, just cause I don't wanna have to wait four days for the battery to go flat. Alrighty, so it's been about a week since we launched our test with the 120X Pro and I'm very excited to see the results. At some point during the week, the fridge did cut out, which means we've used all the usable capacity from this new battery. And it's time to find out exactly how much power we were able to draw. Now, obviously this battery monitor is powered and we have to have it connected to power to be able to read those numbers. My other lithium battery is currently in use doing another test in the canopy. So, D-Max battery, I pulled the battery out of the D-Max to finally see these numbers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna disconnect the fridge from that monitor. So when I connect it to that battery, it doesn't start uh, consuming more power. Now I'm gonna take the monitor off this battery and connect it to this one instead.
Okay, so battery monitor is connected to the D-Max battery. I'm gonna pull the app up on my phone here now and see just how much power we have used. Connect into the smart shunt, jump across to the history tab. Wow, we have used 126 amp hours. And the capacity is only supposed to be 120 amp hours, so go figure. That is honestly awesome. That's gonna be a massive upgrade for the canopy setup. 126 amp hours, that's, honestly, that's really, really cool. And for me personally, like, it's really nice to see that a company like Artec Welds actually taken on board all our feedback from the old 120X. That thing used to deliver 105 amp hours usable charge, and it was quite a topic of discussion online, to say the least. So to see that they've actually listened to all that feedback and are now delivering a battery that can provide us with more than 100% of that usable capacity is just fantastic. So if you guys have any questions about this brand new battery, drop them in the comment section down below and I'll endeavor to track down the information to provide you guys with the answers you need. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.